entirely secure. Everyone, it's your boy, Null Assassin. I hope everyone's having a great weekend and enjoying your second full weekend of the Black Ops 3 grind. I first want to start out by saying I apologize for the long time since my last video. When you have a real world job, priorities happen and making money in the real world trumps making videos for YouTube for fun. However, as promised, it is time for my next video and I hope you all enjoy it. Before we get started, do me a solid and smash that subscribe button to keep up with everything that I produce for my channel going forward. For today's video, I wanted to do a mashup of a few items, including a one-week assessment on how multiplayer is going, connection issues, game updates, and a few other items. In the background is a really great gameplay I picked up the other day on Aquarium playing some Dom. Strangely enough, some of the quote-unquote issues that I'm going to talk about with you all today match the gameplay in the background. I'll 100% apologize because shortly into the game, my recording got all out of whack. The video is fine throughout the video, and somehow the sound ended up getting lagged by a good four to five seconds at some points. So please continue to watch all the way through until the end of the video to see how things turned out. I'll keep the sound a little bit lower so it's not too terrible to listen to, but all in all, it's the gameplay that matters, right? It was one of the highest totals so far on the public dom that I've uh, gotten, so hopefully you guys enjoy what you see. So, like I mentioned, I wanted to cover a few topics today, so let's start with how multiplayer is going through week one. So far through the first week, full week I should say, I will say that the multiplayer experience has been on the good side of the ball. I won't say it has been absolutely great, because there is still some crazy lag and hit detection issues that are happening. I don't know if it's just me, but I feel like shots are landing but not killing, only to look at the leaderboard and see that people who started with four bars are down to two or three bars by the middle of the match. I think this is going to be a huge issue all year long due to the way COD has been built with advanced graphics, but still being run on look servers. For years the studios have been telling us dedicated servers this, dedicated servers that, but now that the game is so advanced and so fast and has so many graphics, dedicated servers really need to be put into place. As far as the community, I check each time I get on to see how the community is spread out against the game types. There's almost 70% of people playing Dom. TDM, Kill Confirm, and Hardpoint, very minimal amounts of people in the uplink, Capture the Flag, Demolition, and a few of the other games. Uh, the game plagues have been, I guess you would say, a little bit on the slower side to get started. I play a lot of Dom, and they should really change the game type to Camp. There are far too many people just sitting behind boxes and walls just waiting for other people to come by instead of actually playing the objective. I'm a combination player, but there is no way you're going to help your team win by camping. I think that's why I end up getting frustrated in quite a few of my lobbies because it's just so hit or miss to find a random group of people who actually want to win the objective. Here's to better games as we go along as more people get interested in winning the game, I guess. Uh, I understand the first week is about feeling out the game, but you can't feel your way through the game by sitting in corners, so for the community, go out and have some fun, enjoy it, don't sit behind boxes, it's just not that great. As far as the variety of the game, I'm still sticking with my original thoughts that Treyarch has given us a very balanced variety of weapons to use. There's only a few items that I feel are OP, and the more people talk about them, and the more that the pros talk about them, the more Treyarch listens, and the more balanced things we'll get. So during the first week, the most OP weapons we have seen are the Gargan, the XR2, and the Haymaker Shotgun. I was killed by those guns more than anything, and just to set the record straight, I'm not opposed to guns that are quick to kill. However, I am opposed to guns that have little to no recoil that are quick to kill. There should be an offset such as some kick factor or slower fire rates to allow the opposing player time to react and try to live if you're going to get one or two bulleted by a gun. So with all that in mind, we did get a big first update to the nerf and buff list. So just to cover those quickly, the nerf guns were the Gorgon, the XR2, Pharaoh, VMP, and the Haymaker. I'm sure everyone in the community could see that those were coming and you could already tell the difference. In the gameplay in the background I'm using the VMP and after the update it felt like I was shooting rubber pellets in many of the situations and taking a really long time to get a kill. However with any update it makes you get reacquainted with guns that you like, figure out what attachments make it better and more useful. I actually switched over to a few other guns as the VMP was nerfed and I'll be doing a couple best setup videos here soon. I want to test out items instead of just putting up a ton of videos to let you guys know what I actually like and what may work for you, well for you, uh, who is the community. On the other end, the buff list, the guns that are getting upgraded for all those uh, who are hearing buff for the first time were the Razorback, the HVK-30, the Dingo, the KRM-262, the Argus, and the Locust. 
I haven't used many of those guns except for the Razorback and the HVK-30, but I can already tell that there are improvements that are out there. With any update, they also put out clip size changes to some guns, damage ranges change on some of them, and often we don't see the actual stats on what guns were affected. Best thing I can say is reevaluate your current setups and see if you notice any changes and make necessary adjustments to your loadouts. So with that, I'll wrap up this short, brief commentary uh, for this video and let you guys enjoy the remainder of the gameplay. If you didn't already, take a minute and hit the subscribe button next to my name in the description. Leave any comments you like. It's the best way I can get better with these videos, and I promise to reply to as many of them as I can. I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day, and I'll see you on my next video. Package inbound. Friendly UAV inbound. Tacom, deploy rate. Hostile care package overhead. Losing Bravo. Overwatch scratched. Counter UAV above. Radar is down. Hostile care package overhead. We're being dominated. Take those positions. Securing C. Securing Alpha. Enemy down. Hostile UAV. Get me a UAV overwatch. Securing Bravo. Alpha secure. All locations secure. Maintain current posture. Losing Charlie. Rachel, stand by. UAV destroyed. Enemy has C. Assigned stealth drone to my AO. UAV inbound. Hostile dart in your AO.
turret. Excellent work. They got what was coming. 